Banks, welcome back to another video of Lures, Eight Legged Critters. And today's rehousing is going to be the Bracket Palmy Bohemian. And she's sitting right here, already for us. And guys, I have a new camera uh, that I just got for Christmas that hopefully we can get this to work. I apologize for any kind of blurriness at, um, at the start if it is becoming a little bit blurry. And there she is. I wonder if you want to turn on the light and have everybody take a nice little look at her. There you go. I'll try to zoom that in if you need to. So right there she is, guys. Um, I got her back in, I would say, late. Oh boy, I want to say sometime in June. Uh, she molded on me once already, so I know she's a female. She's a young female. And um, time to get her out of this enclosure. I highly recommend, if you do end up getting one of these uh, tarantulas, I highly recommend to do a lot of research, research on these guys because... Um, they do kick a lot of urticating hairs and the urticating hairs that they have is almost kind of like a stage three where it's very 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 strong uh, hairs. Uh, these guys I would say not too much on a defensive, set, defensive side but most definitely skittish. As you can see she's going right on in there. Hold on sweetie, there you go. All right, let's get some nice, and there we go. I'll probably go ahead and put a plant in there for her. Right now I have about two and a half inches of substrate, a nice little cave for her right here, a water dish. I'll probably put a plant in there for her too. Uh, these guys are known to kick urticating hairs, and I, I've, I've never had mine provoked. Uh, throw up a, 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 a threat posture, uh, but I did have one as an adult sometime last year that actually did, so I want you to keep that in mind. Uh, the type of behavior of these guys is skittish. Uh, I will, of course, they're a new, they're a new world species. Uh, urticating hairs, yes, type 3, like I said before, these guys flick hairs like you would not believe. I have another sub-adult downstairs that is, I want to say suspect female like this one right here, that she does nothing but kick hair. I mean, one little move on to her enclosure, she's kicking hair like you would not believe. Growth, growth rate on these guys are from slow to medium. So keep that in mind, again, slow to medium. Uh, would I say this would be a good tarantula to own? If I would say one to beginner and ten to expert, I would say about a four. So I would say somewhere around, um, I don't know. After you maybe would own maybe a few, you know, a little bit more slower species. Like I said, they're not very fast. Uh, they're just very skittish and nervous species. Uh, this is native to Mexico and Guerrero, uh, Savannah scrublands, uh, semi uh, humid climate for these guys. So I'm going to leave about half of this substrate right there, a little bit of wet. That's why I got a little peat moss in there. Uh, I tend to keep my tarantulas between, well, in the winter time, I would say 70 to 75 per 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is all my tarantulas. Is why I keep them at during winter here in Ohio because we do keep kind of, uh, you know, kind of cool here. So the furnace kicks on like crazy. So I got to make sure that I, you know, keep them pretty much uh, hydrated. All right, guys. So thank you very much for checking. Oh, price range. Let me throw a price range in there. I've seen these guys go anywhere between thirty-five dollars to fifty. So if you're looking for one of these guys, thirty-five dollars to fifty. I would say pretty much a hardy species. So uh, yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for checking this uh, nice little uh, rehousing of my Brachypotami boheme. And be prepared. I'm going to be doing another video sometime next week of my Brachypotami b Amelia. Uh, okay, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe.